Hey everybody, it's Alexis with Create Your Future and I am back today you guys with another video rendition, another video intro because I am still on my maternity leave and today's video I have chosen a success story from a previous client who manifested an apology and I also go into tips and tricks about how to manifest in general. So I often get asked questions about Alexis, is it possible to manifest an apology? Is it possible to manifest exactly what I want? Is it possible to have the SP telling me exactly what I want? My answer is always yes. The thing is, is that we can't be in the lack of it to manifest it. So as you watch this video, keep that in mind. We want to be living in the experience, right? That you're living in the end of already having experienced, already having, or assuming that you've already had that which you want. If we can master that, then it makes manifesting so much more effortless, so much easier, and then it becomes this fluid, natural, effortless, easy process for all of us, for everything, including an apology, including manifesting for your SP, and all of it just becomes um, part of who you are and you apply it to everything, okay? Because remember that manifesting isn't just about your SP, it's not just about money, it's about everything. It's about your entire existence and that you came here into your physical body to relearn, to re um, reclaim your birthright, if you will, of being the creator of your reality and the only person who can do it is you fortunately or unfortunately, but I look at it as the best thing ever because if we can create what we want, then that means anything is possible. So you guys like what's better than that. Okay. So like I've already said in my other videos right now, I'm on leave. So I'm not um, taking one-on-one -on -one clients for coaching or hypnosis. The moment that I'm back, we'll make an announcement and everybody will know in the interim, I have new courses available. Um, how to manifest marriage with your SP is my my uh, all around um, best one that's come out so far just about manifesting in general and the manifesting principles. And then courses about how to get change with your SP quickly are um, how to put a love spell on your SP, which takes place of my old workshop that's been revamped and it's even better as a course comes with tons of good information. Another course about how to remote influence your SP and get the conversation going unconsciously that you wanna have happen out in your outer reality with your specific person. And then also I have the remote seduction course, which is how to ignite sexual chemistry and intimacy and romance with your SP. Who doesn't want all that? All right, you guys, so you can look for information about those in the description box below, as well as on our website under Alexis's courses. Okay, so I think I've said everything there. So you guys, like I've always said, right, go out and make today awesome. Have fun in your reality. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate how fabulous and awesome you are because you are. And I'll see you in my next video. Okay, bye. Hey everyone, it's Alexis with Create Your Future and I'm back today with another video. Today I'm talking about a success story from one of my clients and also some common themes I've noticed and some tips and tricks that I've been getting clients who have also been really successful in their manifesting. I'm also going to talk about what's going on when you're manifesting, how to stay on your mental diet, how to stay on track, and what to do when you feel like you get off track and bring yourself back to the basics. Before I get started, thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Please hit the bell icon in the box below and you get notified every time that we post new videos. All right, you guys. So super exciting. Today, I want to talk about what I've been noticing with a lot of my clients. This time, it's been a really good theme, and that's the theme of success. So I've noticed that there's been a shift in a lot of people that are manifesting for their SPs or whatever they're manifesting for in general, whether it's career, money, or a specific person, or specific people because their situation has to do with multiple people, whether it's a third party and a third party leaving, or it's getting their family on board with what they want to manifest or whatever's going on. I've been noticing there is a theme and I've been giving guidance to these clients and I just wanted to share it with everybody to help everyone get on track because everyone seems to be in a good place and it's super exciting to see. So I do have one client who wrote in as a success story and it's a really fun one and she's been a success story in previous videos and I like to share her story because she's in a process with her specific person. Now, as I say this today, guys, I have pink nail polish on. So everyone's been noticing my nails now that I talked about them in a video and everyone notices my nails. So today they're pink. If you happen to have an idea of a nail color that you think I should wear, let me know in the comments because I've been taking votes and ideas and I am manifesting for a color to see if anybody else picks up on it. Okay. All right. So back to this really exciting client. So this client has been a success story and manifesting for an apology before she had him say 
call her babe within 24 hours, or I think it was 48 hours, whatever that video is. But I like to share her story because she's, she's in like a full blown process with her SP and her SP has been changing just to go over the basics. If you haven't seen the other videos, her specific person was hot and cold. They weren't in communication. There wasn't a lot of texting. There wasn't a lot of phone calls. Not a lot was going on and they do live in separate countries. So she's now manifested not just a four hour, but also a six hour phone call with him on the phone. Um, and they text and then they tend to go back and forth because she goes back and forth about her self concept. And she's really changing and evolving as a person as she goes through this. So when you dear clients see this video, please know that I'm on your side. I know you can do it and you're making it happen. So in any event, what had happened is that she had had a session with me and then something happened with the SP and then she got herself back on track. So this is really good evidence of how the mental diet works and how you can put the mental diet into practice daily, which is what I've been noticing with a lot of my clients that are successes. They're using their mental diet. They're using the power of themselves that their thoughts are things and their thoughts create for things outside of the SP with the intention to get success with the SP by focusing and using their power on other things because then they know how powerful they are. And then the success with the SP is therefore inevitable. All right. So just really wanted to share this. It's a really short success story, like the email. So I also thought it was really on point. So this is it. Oh my God. So Alexis came out with a success story that's about me and things were going bad, but funny enough, that video came out right then. So I watched it and applied exactly what she said that I had applied before. And my SP apologized to me again. And she puts again in all capitals because this is kind of a back and forth where they're kind of in a situation where she manifests not, not hot and cold behavior, but just some um, moving through the motions of the relationship, we could say. So she wanted an apology. She got one again. Please let her know this. I started implementing what she said about what she said about before, and he definitely wants to say sorry. Oh, that was the intention. Um, she started implementing what I had said before and that he wants to say sorry. He always comes back to me and no big deal instead of freaking out that things are over. And as soon as I did that, he texted me and said sorry. And, and in parentheses, he's not someone who used, who used to easily apologize, close parentheses. So it's a really cute success story. It's really short. And I apologize for um, stumbling over the words here, but it's a really good point here, how her specific person doesn't generally apologize. Now, what this client has done is she's gone within and she's changed the representation of him within her with her thoughts and her thinking and now he has manifested into the version of himself that easily apologizes so i've said this in other videos but you can imagine you guys and i've had a lot of clients look at it this way that your sp inside of you is just your like a chapstick like imagine that your sp is this chapstick um in this instance it's classic cherry because that's my favorite and that this chapstick is within you and it's almost as if you're using your mental diet and the proper intentions for your circumstance. Imagine that your SP is within you and you're sending all of the thoughts to your SP within you so that without you or outside of you, they show up that way, they act that way, and then they morph and they manifest into the version of them that fits this. It's almost like you can think that outside of you and outside of your sphere, your, your SP really doesn't exist. They only exist within you and whatever thoughts you're feeding them with. And then with outside of you, they show up that way. So I've noticed that. So like this client, she's been really stellar about turning situations around and using her mental diet. So she's using her mental diet to get him to change and not to change who he is out here, right? But she's changing again, the representation of him within. And then he literally has no option besides to change outside of her. The other way to look at it is that think that your specific person is in your reality and that every time that you think a thought, they get the thought. So you can either use the analogy or you can use both that thoughts are things your thoughts create, right? So the person is within you and you're feeding them all the intentions energetically with your thoughts or the person actually gets the thoughts because both are true. Remember that your intentions are going into your subconscious mind your subconscious mind, which is 90% of you, and they're also going outside of you to the SP. So it's like over time persisting in these thoughts, there's no other option besides for the SP to show up the way that you're intending, but you got to stay on track. Another analogy that I've been telling people is you have to go through the fire, especially if you're recreating someone. So I had a client this week that also asked me, Alexis, can you make more videos about recreating people? So dear client, 
different client, this video is also for you because I thought about it. So what you want to think about is when you're recreating a specific person, when you're thinking thoughts on purpose, right? Using your mental diet because your thoughts are things your thoughts create. When you're recreating someone, you really have to go through the fire of persisting, like almost imagining I'd used these wands before and everyone liked them. So I thought I'd bring them out again. Imagine that your chosen reality, I'm going to have to just get over the fact that I look funny while I do this. Your chosen reality is like this, right? So imagine that you're looking down a funnel and this is your chosen reality, but on the right and the left and above you and beneath you is fire. And the fire is two things. So it's your old thoughts about the circumstance. Most importantly, your old beliefs about the person, your old beliefs about relationships. And it's also your old version of yourself. So it's like, you're here, you guys, and you've chosen with your mental diet. Like I'm going to stay on track. This is me. Like no matter what I'm in the tunnel of love, I'm in the tunnel of romance. I'm in the tunnel that is at the end of the rainbow. At the end of here is the manifestation in your reality with your SP of your choosing, but that on either side of you, all around you, there's this fire and the fire is always the old circumstance showing up. And then the old circumstance is always saying to you like, Hey, yo, so is this what you want? Do you really, really want this version of your SP? Is this really the person that you want? Do you, do you really, really truly believe that he or she is for you? Right? So it's almost as if you have to tell the fire to keep burning or turn into smoke, or that you're not going to listen to it, or that it's old news, or that it's irrelevant. You don't want to give too much attention to the fire, right? Because your circumstances, whatever they are, don't matter. You just want to focus on the prize, which is you and which is this. So I do that a lot. When I'm manifesting for something, I always think that there's like a tunnel. I'm I, almost like I have tunnel vision and that on the sides of me are everything that I might think could get in the way, but that's really the old reality dissolving. It's the old reality kind of like going up in flames. It's, there's different ways to look at this, but all you have to know is that this is a huge component to when you're manifesting for something. So another thing that I wanted to bring up today is like I get asked a lot, like, why is everything going south? Why is everything going worse? Like, um, there was a client that I, I, a new client that I have, and this happens a lot where we get someone on the intentions, you, you get on the proper mental diet, and then everything feels like it's going up in flames, or it feels like it's going south. But remember, you guys, that you're living in a molecular reality. So oftentimes, we can be on new intentions, we can even change up our intentions, we can even focus more intently and focus harder on that which you want. And then the old reality begins to scream at you. It's almost as if every version of the SP or every version of the old reality kind of comes really quickly into your awareness or into your point of consciousness. And it's those times again, all you got to do is the same thing. The answer is the same. Like you have to just stay on that focus, stay with that tunnel vision of the reality that you want. The intentions, of course, that accompany the reality that you want, the mental diet that accompanies the reality that you want, and then you're good to go. I mean, it often sounds simple when I say it in videos. Now, putting it into practice, it can be difficult. I mean, things I have noticed for clients when you get on the right intentions that you can feel like you're living in a twilight zone. It can feel like life is getting worse before it gets better. Um, it can feel like there's doom and gloom coming or like how wide everything gets so bad, you know, but it really isn't true. It's your outer reality that is a molecular structure of energy is reorganizing itself to fit that which you want. Like think that if we go to the basics that your thoughts create, your thoughts are things and everyone is you pushed out, that you pushed out reality A, like let's imagine this, this time is reality A, and this is the one you don't want. Like, let's imagine this is reality A, and this has lots of thoughts of, you know, a certain self-concept, your SP being a jerk, your SP being the person you don't want them to be. Let's imagine that you've thought these thoughts for a long time, or you just thought these thoughts about relationships for a while, right? So just pretend and imagine that that's what this is, right? So this is you. Now imagine that overnight, because that's what your intentions do, or in an instant, in a moment, you start thinking new thoughts. So new, beautiful thoughts about life and living in relationships, how things are working out for you, how everything is hunky dory. Everything is beautiful. You know, let's say you start thinking those thoughts. Wouldn't it make sense if you made the quantum jump thinking about this reality to this reality, that things might have to go a little bit haywire for a while. Hmm? Like if you think logically, and even though manifesting isn't logical, Manifesting is spiritual. Manifesting are using the spiritual unseen laws of the universe to your advantage because they're all held together by thought. But 
if you think again, like you've thought these thoughts for a long time, right? And we need these to dissolve for this new reality to take form. Wouldn't it make sense that it would get a little crazy for a while? Wouldn't you start experiencing things that you're like, holy heck, like where did that come from? Why is he or she acting so weird? Why are they all of a sudden not whatever, you know? And this isn't for everyone, but I'm putting this into the video because I want to be clear that there are a lot of people that this happens to. And if this is happening to you, you're not alone. It's kind of to be expected. And it's part of the, of the fabric of how our universe is constructed. Because think too, like I've said in other videos, the way that I look at it is that I was created by a creator to create. And that we are said that we're a spark of God. So we're the same essence of the creator. Now, if we also think that all the, the constructs of the universe are held in place for our safety, our prosperity, our evolution, and our growth, then wouldn't you think that it would take some time or it would be a process to go, let's say, from reality A, right, to reality B? Because, like, imagine the opposite. Imagine if instantaneous thought, right, in our human realm, if that manifested, then that would mean, like, let's pretend that you had a night that you weren't sure what you wanted for dinner. And you thought to yourself, I want Italian food. And then let's say thoughts or things and thoughts automatically manifest, right? Italian food would appear. Or if you wanted Subway, then all of a sudden Subway would appear. And then all of a sudden you want Chinese food, Chinese food would appear, right? So our thoughts don't instantaneously always manifest, especially with romance and specific people, because they can't, it, it's not, our, our universe isn't created that way. So you want to be on your side about this, right? You want to know that this is a process for most people and that just like these, all these clients of mine got successes. It's like everyone's getting contact from their SP. Everyone's getting a text message. But the beautiful thing that I've noticed is that all of these clients also know that they're in a process. They're not seeing it as an, as the end game. They're more focused on like, yeah, I know what's happening, Alexis. Like, I know that I'm changing a lot. I know he or she is changing a lot. And I'm in this for the long haul. I'm in this for however long it's going to take. And that's really the best attitude to have. All right? Because you just want to think that this is, this is how it is, you guys. It's this simple. Not saying that's easy, though. Is that there's this. This is you, right? This is you and your chosen reality. Looking down at it, staying on track. We're in, we're in this lane of life. And that there's that fire. Like there's that ring of fire that's outside of it that's like, hey, is this really what you want? Hey, just asking you, like, is this really, really what you want? Because that fire is always kind of taunting you. Like, hey, maybe you want somebody else. Hey, like maybe he's not the person for you. Hey, maybe you don't love him as much, right? Does it matter? Because all you have to do is stay on your intentions, on your mental diet. Know also that anything is possible for you. You can have whoever you want, whatever you want. It's all possible because it all comes from you. Also, going back to the basic here is that you're the only thinker in your reality. Everything comes from you. Everyone literally is inside of you only to be projected outside of you. They're not even necessarily real people. They all come from you. Your thoughts are king. Your thoughts are queen. And that's that, right? So, you guys, if you're feeling off track, oh, it's got you on track, knowing that there's lots of successes out there. Everyone's using the mental diet. Now, I, I don't have a lot of clients these days that are intentionally visualizing or doing a lot of visualizing it's okay if you do that but just know too that your thoughts are things your thoughts create anyways so if you are visualizing if you're doing those kinds of things just make sure that your thoughts are on point get you what you want live in the end and get on the right intentions all right you guys so that's my video for today i hope that you have found it helpful helps you be successful because you can have anything that you want and you are awesome and amazing and we love having you all right so before i go though we are still having the um the giveaway for 100,000 subscribers. So please comment on any of our videos or this video about how law of attraction or law of assumption has helped you manifest anything in your life. And then you get put into a pool of people and we're giving away three free coaching sessions um, once we get to 100,000. All right. So one more time, thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. And in the box below too, oh gosh, I keep on forgetting all these things, is the link for one-on-one -on -one coaching for me. And then there's also the links to my two courses. The first one is how to become a master manifester, which goes over your self-concept and having the foundation of safety, security, and self-love. The second course is Get Your SP Now, which goes over through a process about how to recreate your specific person, how to get them to be the person that you want them to be from within so that you're experiencing them in your reality. All right, so that's it for today. Make today awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.